What's up everyone? I'm your female otaku and I'm here to review volume two of A Silent Voice. I'm sorry it took me so long. I should have read it sooner, but at least I already have volume three ready to go. I have it with me right now and stuff, but right now we're here to review volume two of A Silent Voice. This is getting good. This is getting really good. Things are progressing at a steady pace and I really like that. With this volume, Ishida goes to meet Shoko to apologize to her and possibly even become friends, which was an extra step that he didn't expect to happen, but he at least wanted to make amends. And the surprising thing is that he learned sign language, like everything. I thought he would only memorize a few phrases just to specifically tell her that he's sorry, but no, he memorized the language. He knows how to... Well, I can't really say speak sign language, but you know you know what I mean. He knows sign language. That's impressive. Why would he go that far as to learn the entire language? Why would he do that? Even though all he wanted to do was just to apologize and to make amends with Shoko, why would he do that? I hope this gets brought up sometime in the future, because that was honestly very interesting. Afterwards, Ishida isn't too sure if he and Shoko are buddies right now, because his mother clearly, clearly is still mad at him, which makes sense. Honestly, it makes sense. I mean, even though, yes, a long time has passed since then, I believe maybe five, six years? I don't know, a long time has passed since then. But even so, it was her childhood. That was Shoko's childhood. He really ruined it for her. So, of course, the mom would be very upset. And it wasn't only the mother who was upset, but also Yuzuru, which is Shoko's younger sister. I thought it was a boy for a little bit, but then I found out that Yuzuru is a girl, which is totally fine anyway. But before I get into all that stuff with Yuzuru, let me talk about Tomohiro. Ishida makes a new friend, and with Tomohiro, he's starting to question what exactly is friendship? How does one suddenly call another their friend, their best friend? And Tomohiro, he just automatically says like, oh, we're friends, let's go out watch a movie and stuff, let's ride bikes and stuff like that. Tomohiro, by the way, he was so funny, especially at the end of the volume. At the end of the volume, when he finds out that Yuzuru is a girl, he's just like, oh, yeah, I knew that. <laughs> it's like, what? Oh my gosh, no. Tomohiro was really funny. Yeah, he was like really polite. Like he co he completely had this like new persona when he was meeting with Ishida's mother and he was just like, oh, hello, ma'am. And I'm just like, what? Tomohiro's hilarious, man. I, I love the guy. I love the guy. Um, anyway, so Tomohiro already thinks that he and Ishida are best friends. So Ishida, he's just still like, okay, that's his perception of it, but I feel like that there needs to be something more. Is he thinking too deep into this? So I really like how he's thinking about the concept of friendship, since, you know, he hasn't had any friends for the longest time. So he tries to meet up with Shoko twice over at her sign language class, and meets up with Yuzuru, who... Yuzuru tricks Ishida into thinking that their boyfriend and girlfriend, that Yuzuru is dating Shoko, when, of course, that's not the case. Yuzudu is Shoko's younger sister. And Yuzudu is very upset with Ishida and remembers everything that he did to her. So Yuzudu frames Ishida and says that Ishida is, like, getting suspended and everything by jumping off the bridge and doing, like, you know, risky stunts and things like that. What I really like is how Ishida handles this situation, because he's not mad. He understands. He completely understands. This is his karma and he is accepting it. And he's not mad that the mother is still upset with him, even though Ishida found Shoko when Shoko was out in the rain looking for Yuzudu when Yuzudu ran away from home. Like I said in the beginning, it is a steady progression and I really like that. We're getting to know more about Ishida's character and seeing some growth. I also really like how we're not getting straight into the romance right away like most shoujo manga do. I don't know if this is a shoujo manga actually, I think this might be a shonen. I'm not positive. I'm not, I gotta look that up later, but anyway. Um, I'm really glad that they're not immediately going straight for romance right away, because right now you can really see that Isha just wants to build a relationship, a strong relationship 
with Shoko. And that relationship is not love. Great volume. So happy that I'm continually going to review A Silent Voice. And, you know, stay tuned for volume three review. I'm not too sure when that'll come out, but you know what? It's in the air. I will be reviewing all the volumes. And I want to bring in more manga reviews to this channel. So expect some more in the future. I'm your female otaku, Sayonara.